Hey everybody, Kyle Chandler back with uh, Digital Innovation Team here at JCPS IT3. And uh, in this uh, video in the series, we're going to discuss the lease versus the purchase option now for our copiers and printers here at JCPS. So if you didn't check out the first video yet uh, or any of the others, uh, you can bounce around on those and uh, get, get up to speed. Uh, but if you'll join me for now at jcps.me forward slash print, it will direct you to the landing page for this new print management program here. And specifically today, again, we're going to discuss the lease versus purchase options. So uh, as you all know, uh, the copiers can be quite uh, expensive, uh, especially if there wasn't a great awareness of the need to replace one and it just dies. So here you are in the middle of a fiscal year, a uh, copy machine has died, it's a major quality of life issue uh, and just operational problem uh, to suddenly be down on one of these machines. We've all had instances where you kind of needed something now, uh, possibly for a whole site and without the ability to do that, you're kind of dead in the water. So uh, they, Whereas before, you may have been stuck trying to uh, cobble together as much as you know ten thousand dollars or more in some cases. In this example, uh, they've introduced a new option available to our schools, which is a leasing option. So, a uh, couple of different ways that you could kind of work this leasing option. You can still purchase outright; that's still available on all the devices, um, and those all will also still fall under the uh, click rate concept, which I discussed in a previous video. So uh, if you're not sure of that, you may look into it uh, before you move on. Uh, but any any new device will fall under that program and whether you purchase or lease it. And um, in this example, it would be potentially $10,500, depending on the model and, and brand of vendor you chose to replace. So often mid-year, if that's not a, a planned cost, uh, that can really cause you some issue. So I've offered this leasing option now, uh, and in this example, the leasing option is $201.60 for 60 months. And so a, every month, the school is invoiced uh, for that $201.60, and it would be uh, included on the, the invoice from the vendor with your uh, click rate, most likely, uh, or it would be handled the same, at least, on an open PO. So in other words, you're, you know, your bookkeeper would get an invoice. Uh, that bookkeeper would access the open PO and then just take care of the payment at that time. Um, so that's one way you could work it. Let's say you're dead in the water, you it's mid-year, one dies on you, you got to have it. It was the one in the office everybody depended on. It was in the teacher copier room and now they don't have anything, right? So in theory, you could take and instead of paying $10,500, uh, you could pay more like uh, $1,400 uh, if it were the entire year or, or less out of the rest of your, your fiscal budget for that year. So let's say it happens in, you know, uh, February and you've got to get through to July. Uh, so you've got five months at 201 out of that year's budget. So again, it makes that a lot more attainable in a pinch. Now, another interesting way that you could leverage this is, um, we have all fight the, fought the good fight uh, with some of these older uh, aging copy machines that are on their last leg, and we're really trying to get our staff away from that uh, altogether. So you could, uh, that's why actually it was labeled the extreme makeover uh, on the homepage here. You could potentially look at the cost of updating an entire fleet all at the same time and keeping them on the same scale annually. And so let's say you know you needed one of these at 201 maybe you need one at 120 bucks a month whatever the math works out to now suddenly for potentially three to five brand new machines you're paying uh anywhere between eight and ten thousand dollars again dig in and, and do that math for yourself depending on your need or we're happy to help but the point is is in many cases you can replace most of if not an entire fleet of copy machine for the cost of uh, just one or two copiers over the course of a whole year if you've planned for that. 
So again, suddenly you're looking at quality of life, uh, efficiency, service, supplies, uh, all of those benefits with the ability to lease. And there's no more fighting and fussing with copy machines, ordering supplies and all of that mess. It's one less burden on you and your staff. So uh, very, very interesting um, and uh, uh, a very welcome uh, option again for our schools, I think, and our cost center heads as they try to plan. Um, if you do go uh, as, as a bookkeeper uh, to do all this, they've added the commodity codes for you, the print agreement that you need, and the vendor info. And so they worked closely with JCPS Purchasing uh, to develop all of this information so that you would have what you need at your fingertips as well. So uh, again, this was a short video to discuss uh, the lease versus purchasing options now available to you, leasing being the new option, and some of the ways that you could leverage that in your building, whether it be in a pinch to replace one that went down mid-year or through the planning process where you really update your entire fleet. Um, these are on a five-year refresh cycle. So at the end of five years, uh, that device would get turned back into the vendor and you could either then purchase outright uh, or you could remain in a leasing agreement and get new equipment at the end of the five-year period. So again, really the end goal here is to try to keep the school with equipment that is in good working order. Um, so between the maintenance and uh, whatnot through the vendor now with click rate and the requirement of the refresh cycle at the end of 60 months, um, you know, this really should keep things humming in our schools and cut down on a lot of the waste and uh, honestly, sometimes frustration we see when we're fighting these things uh, through our daily work. So if you have questions uh, or would like to reach out to us, please hit this email address and we'll get right back with you or you can contact me directly. I'd be happy to come out. Uh, we would and talk with you uh, and explain anything or answer any questions or help however we can. So thanks. Have a great day.